Fianna Falta, 100,000 welcomes to Irish Paint Magic. Today I'm back again to County Galway, on the coast of County Galway, which is a magnificent scenery. Actually, all around the whole of Ireland, there's beautiful scenery. And this is just not that far from Galway, and uh, it's a bay. And I just want to show you how easy it is to paint um, the scenes of Ireland, indeed the coast of Ireland. Now, what I've done, as I explained in, in previous uh, series is this. I painted the basic shape of the coastline here with black gesso and I cover that with liquid clear and just the basic outline of the cliff face and back here is a mountain the same thing and I covered all this here with a uh, liquid white so the whole lot is slip and slide and I can I can work away it's quite slippy now the whole canvas and it allows me to work away not to be painting in the old traditional way now here we go I go straight into a uh, blue and a little bit of black to tone down the colour. And again, up into the corners, keep your corners quite dark. And over here, quite dark. And over here, again, and let it run right down with crisscross strokes, right down to the horizon. But as we go down the horizon, as we go right down, we lighten up on the stroke so that we come right down and plenty of light right over the horizon uh, as we go down the painting. In other words, you grade it from dark to light down this way. Go back up here, pick up that blue and coax that one down, right down. Again, the very same method, right down, crisscross strokes, the big brush is on its edge, two inch brush on its edge. Now don't confuse these brushes with um, with the ones you'd buy in a hardware store. They're not the same brushes, they're special bristle brushes that can be got. All these products can be got in Ireland and if you look at the uh, at the TV, you'll be able to see other videos where the product can be bought in Ireland or in Britain or anywhere. These, these are readily available here in Ireland. And here we go right down and now I do the, more or less the same here on the uh, the bottom because uh, there's an estuary in here and I just darken all the base of this canvas again right down right down with blue and black there's blue and the black mostly black here now to kill that blue I don't want it to be too tropical I'm putting black into it to kill it but as the colors come close to you anyway they will get stronger and here again now just fill in the corners and again up here I'm going to darken this corner here again up here another bit and I'm quite tough with these canvases now I'm not um, I'm not that gentle with them now and you see me pucking the canvas and now I'm going to pull this one I'm just going to darken it slightly here with the black just the black only gone in there now to tone down that blue to get that tropical look out of it now I'm pulling this in from the outside of the canvas in from the outside in, all the strokes, do not come back out again because you'll pick up something like that and it's not good enough. So you come from the outside in like this. Now anybody can do this painting. If you use the mediums, anybody. This painting, type of painting, is for everybody. It's for people that can draw but would love to paint and they can do this because you don't need to be able to draw once you get the basic shapes and you use these liquids it's for everybody, from all walks of life. It doesn't matter whether you're a barrister or a judge or a solicitor, or a working man working on a building site, or sweeping the streets, this is for everybody. If you're retired or you're going to school, it makes no difference, no ages, no barriers, it's for everybody. And now you get a naturally sheen coming up there, natural sheen, and up here, again and now I'm going to go away from it because the more I stay at it the more it will disappear into the liquid white so what I'm going to do now is um, create the illusion of, of, sort of cloud formations coming in over Galway and I get this one inch brush and just go into it on its edge on its edge and go up and look where the light affects the dark you can see a light spot here and go go in there and just tap in and think of the sun think of the sun shining in from the right hand side of this painting. Now there is a rule, um, if you're a left-handed person, you, you can think of the sun coming from the left. But if you're a right-handed person, usually you come in from the right. 
but don't go back up to the top of that cloud anymore. But stay at the bottom here. Down here, you can do what you like. You can puck the hell out of it, it's fine. I have no problem at all. Back in here, more paint. But every time I do come off, what I do is I wipe the old brush on, its, um, on a tissue. And just come in and just tap away. And don't be afraid. Try and come down in layers if you can. Back again. There's another spot here. And try and play the dark against the light. And I hope you can understand my old Cork accent. But it's good. The painting and the canvas like my Cork accent. And you should practice it, really. Now, if you bring up some dirt here, which I'm doing, that brush is quite dirty now. And bring it in under, the, under this cloud. And it will form a shadow right here under the cloud. So try and practice your cock accent and you'll find that the paint will sit down much better for you. There, a little bit of shadow in there, a little bit. And you can pick up more duct up here in the darker part and bring it in under the shadow side of the cloud. And work away down in layers. So there's no great mystery to this type of painting. This is why um, I want to encourage everybody in Ireland to paint. Everybody loves to look at a painting, and why don't you do it? As I said, you don't have to be able to draw to do this type of painting. And now we tap and tap and down. Everybody be happy. That's what life is all about. Life is too short. Try and enjoy yourself and be happy. Down here, I'm just going to bring another layer right down there, and I'm going to fight with myself to stop it. I'm going to say, Dave, please stop. Maybe another bit here. I'm fighting with myself now, and I won't, and I won't listen to myself, but I will. Sometimes, when I'm talking like this to myself, people complain me, and I send those guys in an ambulance with a white coat, and when they go to the doctor, he scratches his head when he sees me coming in, and he says, not again. Not again. Leave that man out. He's an artist. Leave him out. All artists are supposed to talk to themselves and talk to their canvas. Now, I'm just going to go very gently over all that, and I'm saying to get away from it. And I do that. Now, I want to create the illusion that there's a, a head out here, out onto the... So I want a bit of white. This is titanium white. There's not many colors in this system, just about 12. And it's very easy to follow the 12, not to be going into this store, the art store, and finding you have to look at hundreds of colors. And that's why this makes this system so easy. Now, that's too strong for me, and I need to tone it down. So I'm going to gray it down with a little bit of black. A little bit of black will tone it down, makes it a little bit gray. And that's what we want, a gray blue. Gray blue and another little bit of black, and the more black you put in out, will grey it down. So, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And I can use this special knife, and you'll notice it has two angles, a long angle and a narrow one. And it's a magnificent knife, absolutely magnificent, for doing all types of detail. I'll show you later on how we can use it uh, much better. And I'd just like to take the opportunity to thank T.G. Carr for allowing me on their program to meet the people of Ireland and indeed all the people here in the studio, Paul and all his people. And here we go, right here, away in the distance, miles, miles, miles away. I'm going to change this to um, a fan brush to get more detail. And it's a long way out to sea and all we want is the basic shape as though there's a headland way out there, way out there, and let it fall down, right down, too far out to, be, to have any great detail. Let it go right out. A little bit of black onto the brush there, just a little bit to deepen it. This black is unique black, it's beautiful for Irish skies. Whatever the formula is, I think they, they must have made it up with, with some blue and crimson and it's a lovely black and it's very, very suitable for Ireland. So if you want that black, just 
Look at the end of the program and you'll see where all these products are available in Ireland and you'll have no problem. Now, I'm just going to come down here and just lighten to get just a little bit of a haze between this lot here. Now I'm going to continue that colour way out over here. There's a mountain range over there, probably the 12 bends again in the distance. I don't know what mountain range this is. I must look up. Now just very gently let that go down with the fall of ground uh, to create the illusion that there's a divider just here between this as we get closer, okay? So we can leave it go at that. Now I'm just going to pick up some uh, black and Van Dyke Brown on its own, black and Van Dyke Brown, and I'm going to get, bring in the basic shape of this headland here, which is quite close, and it comes right over, right over, and falls right, zoom, zoom, right down, down there, big erosion from, from the Atlantic, right down. And there's a very bold one just here, just there in the background. And I want that to stand out in a moment. Uh, you'll see what happens in just a moment. And let that shove that other mountain range way back. Nice to have counter change like this. One color pushing the other one back. And let that run right down into the water, which will be right down here. And I'm doing this now with the fan brush. And again, if you're enjoying these programs, you're very, very welcome. And I'm delighted to be uh, with you. And if you feel you want more of them, it is my intention to paint all around Ireland. I love the, all around the west coast, they're very rugged. But I'd like to do the east coast and the inland, the hidden island inside. And please God, if the demand is good enough, you can write to the old station and tell them you want to get that old car guy back on. And please God, we can do all that. Now, I'm just cleaning up a little bit here. Now, don't use any white spirit really only for thinning out here. Don't use it for, um, for your paints. The paints are, are, all the dark colors are quite stiff and the light ones then are um, quite light and one will stick to the other if you um, be gentle with them. So I'm going to go in here now um, with a little bit of cad yellow on the fan brush. Cad yellow, maybe a little bit of green with it. Maybe a little bit of black to tone it down. And a bit of yellow ochre. Our yellow ochre and black is quite good, for quite Irish. Yellow ochre and black can be quite Irish. Don't have it too bright. That's quite nice. And I'm going to pull this up here like this. It goes up, up, up the hill. Right up, right up to that way, and again, quite gentle with it. Let the sun shine on those old fields way along there on the coast. Let the sun shine on them. And here. And go with the fall of ground, and this pushes that old dark one back, and make sure you have plenty of colour on, uh, on the brush, and lay it on, nice and soft. Nice and gentle. Now that's it. Beautiful. And stop it. Because the more you keep at it, the bigger mess you'll make out of it. Now what I want to do, there's a cliff face all along here. All along here. I just go into Van Dyke Brown on its own. And I'm going to pull this right down. This is all eroded now from the Atlantic in the winter. We get all these big storms coming in and the waves crashing off the coast. And don't have this too uniform. Make sure that it breaks, that it's not too uniform. And don't stand too close to the bank either. We don't want anybody falling in there. And just pull it right down. It doesn't matter. Right down there to the water. Just a little bit of white and a bit of dark cyanide. And don't mix them properly, don't mix them too much. Leave it marbled and cut across it and get a roll of paint like that. And very gently just touch it and let it hit here and there. Don't kill all those darks. 
But don't kill all the dark. This side of this cliff now would be a little bit in shadow, so I won't put a hole out there. Okay, and move all along it. Move all along and highlight all that cliff face. And if you're going walking up there with the dog around, and keep back a little bit. We don't want you falling in. And here, I don't want the whole lot along here at all, at all. So, I'm just going to catch that, that cliff face with the big brush, and I'm going to pull it all down, right down into the water. And I'm going to say, please, Mr. Cliff Face, please sit down for me. Please come down. Please come down. Thank you very much. Right. Now, I've got to clean this brush. It's gone very dirty in me. And you're going to clean it. Shake it into this. That's the best part of it. And this little white one. The inch one. This is where the cameramen start running for the door when I start cleaning my equipment. <laughs> All their clothes are covered with spatters. Now, let me see what I'm going to do here, yes? Going back up here, and I'm going to get a little bit of liquid white and cut into it, and come in under that cliff face and just cut in. Get in under it, and it creates a water line way in under the cliff face there. Way in under it. And out here, way out over here, we have another. Now, I use contact paper quite a bit, and I would encourage anybody. Now, if you're a, um, an artist going to college or anything, uh, I think this should help you. Don't be disillusioned with what's going on here. This should help you and help everybody. This painting is for everybody. But if you're gifted and go to college, art college, good on you, good on you. And we wish you the very best, and we hope that this will work well for you. But if you're not, if you're like me, or everyone else that's retired, and just want to have a little bit of fun, this is really for us. We can't. We haven't time after rearing our families, paying for a mortgage. We haven't time to be going to college. So all we want to do is have a nice painting. Now, I use contact paper here, and it's a positive or negative, and you'll see what happens here. I'm going in under this. I want the camera to come in under this now and come in, because I have a Galway hooker going up Galway Bay here, just going up there. And what I want to do with that is uh, just a little bit of uh, white spirit with a bit of the brown and thin that out quite quite thin now. This is one of the few times that we use white spirit. But rather than, I don't want to get in under that with a, with a small brush. I'll be here forevermore. And the people in the studio will chuck me out. So I haven't time. I've got only 25 minutes. So I'm going to cut in under this here and I'm going to go up here. Instead of a brush, you get lovely, lovely, lovely lines that will, uh, very delicate lines that will make your painting lovely. And then you can tell the people who will ask you, how did you get such a fine line? Then you'll tell them you were in college for 25 years to learn how to make those lines. And then you can have a laugh and then tell them the truth after that. Tell them that you were watching one of Irish paint magic programs and you found out about all these rigs and how to make them and there'll be little corks and that I don't know much about these uh, the pulleys and that on, on these but uh, that's basically how, how they work and along Ireland um, these hookers there's their no now if anybody out out in America or something sees this this program don't get confused when I say hooker these were used Galway hookers are now restored beautifully. And they're used, I raced them now and everything around Galway. And uh, they used to one time to transport uh, turf and all types of goods out to the islands. And everybody traded with them on, that's before the modern engines came in. Now, down here I have, that'll do me fine there. Down here, 
I'm just going to create the illusion that there's an old bird running right out along there. This would be erosion as well, and I don't want that to be running right out. That, that will push the other, uh, all this back. And it won't be too even, so don't be trying to make it too even. Just push it on with this old knife. Wonderful knife this is. It's a special knife. Now, it's not the usual pallet knife. Special knife. It's a, there's two different edges on it, and it works wonderful. Now here, I can create zoom, zoom. Make those noises, and the paint will go on much better for you. This now is a big rock, huge rock there, and that will push everything out there. So I need to highlight that now, and what I'll do is I'll, a bit of white, and dark cyan. Maybe a bit of yellow ochre, but dark cyan mostly. And don't, make, don't mix them too, too much. And here, zump, and put it in the opposite way. And, and again, zump, make the noises. <laughs> make the noises, you'll be okay. It will sit down for you. Make the noises, zump. Now, I don't want all of Aaron going zumping. Just some of you, <laughs> or else we'll be all locked up. Okay, here we go. Just touch it down. And now what I'm going to do is coax that down. Coax it down. Please, Mr. Rock, please sit down for me. Please sit down. I'm pleading with you to sit down. And pull it all down. And over here, catch it, and pull it all down. And even if you're not an artist, I hope that you'll enjoy this program for entertainment. And it might even be for people that need just entertainment and want to know how these things are done. I hope that all of you will enjoy it. If you do, please give the old program, drop a line to the TG car. And I'm going to cross all this now very gently. All this, very gently. Very gently. And here, very gently. And ask it to sit down, please. Sit down, please, for me. And it'll give you... Now I'm going in here to liquid white, and I go in under this here, and I cut in and get my divider. That will make that sit down. Sit down. Please sit down for me, please. Right in under it. And as I say, drop a line to TG Carr. And I want to sincerely thank them for inviting me on to their programs. And please God, we will all meet again on some other programs. Because as I said, it is my one wish to paint every scene of Ireland, no matter what part of Ireland. And why not send your paintings into the TG Har? And let's see what they are. And maybe someday we'll be able to show them your paintings. Whether you're six year old, 60, eight or 80, you're very welcome onto this program. Now this is a rounded brush, it's a filbert brush, it's rounded on the top. You double load this brush on both sides with, a, with Van Dyke Brown and one side with uh, the same color, highlight color as we have on the rocks, which would be white and, and um, uh, dark cyan. And just come in here and just give it a little twitch, but plenty of paint now, a little twitch and you'll create by twitching the brush. Just twitch the brush, and you'll throw the color off, and you'll get a light and the rocks and the stones all into one go. And all you need to do then is just get in under them with your fan brush or whatever, and just coax them down, ask them to sit down for you. Just coax them down, down into the water, and then Go across it very gently, and they will sit down into the water for you. Go across them very gently. Very gently. And again, get yourself a little bit of um, liquid white, and go in under them, and again, cut into them, and they'll sit down for you. Just speak nicely to them, and just go right in under them, and speak to them nicely, 
and practice your Cork accent and they will all sit down for you. And until we meet again, Goramila Mahagot, Shlan Lach, and God bless you all, my friends and your family.